January 16th. I want to propose a toast. Bring in the new year. With Kevin Hart. NAS, we won't get caught. Nod and smile. Who are you, really? <laughs> the Wedding Ringer. Rated R. I like how it comes full tone. It goes like this. That's why I love the character so much. That's why I took the role. Um, you know, I think in, in all of my movies previous to this, yes, I've been funny. And, you know, I've, I've gotten the opportunity to play different types of funny. From the Think Like a Man's to the Ride Alongs to the About Last Night. Uh, just to name a few because there's so many things I've done. Um, I think that within this one, though, this guy has levels. And these levels are so different from the ones that I've displayed in the past. This is why Bick Mitchum and Jimmy went hand in hand. I smell Oscar. I don't even know if you're eligible. You smell it? <laughs> I smell Oscar. <laughs> what would the best men, best man at your future wedding mm -hmm. say, you recently engaged, and what did your best man say at your wedding? Mine was more of a roast. Like, I just, like, people went to town. It was like a Comedy Central roast. It was just cruel. At a bar and, mitzvah? Yeah, no, it was a wedding. Wait. You don't call every Jewish <laughs> event a bar mitzvah. I thought they were all bar mitzvahs. We mitzvah. also get married in our culture. What? So it's not a bar mitzvah when no, you No, that's married. when you turn 13 and you become a man. And it's circumcised you. Sad to see this guy taking off the mat. That's, you know? that's the weirdest thing I've ever heard about what are you talking say? about? He would say, hey, man, we finally get to see chocolate drop, get put in the fridge, and get frozen. <laughs> because if this little piece of chocolate was still out there, oh, he would be melting all over the place. All right, well, let's go over some of my packages. If you're looking for a basic single wing ring man, that's why I'm your best man. I attend your wedding for the full day. Okay. If you need something a little more involved where I participate in all the festivities for the weekend, then you're talking about a bronze bow tie. Now, if you got real problems, what you need is a silver cuff link. Now, that includes everything in the bronze bow tie, plus an additional three groomsmen to balance out the bridesmaid. And for an extra thousand dollars, I throw you a bachelor party to your liking. How you looking on groomsmen? Not good at all. Not good as in you need one or, or two? I, I need seven. You need seven, seven groomsmen? I do. You don't get genuine real relationships in this business. So I think when you do get one, you, you hold on to it. You know, uh, I'm happy to say that I, I filmed this movie with Josh, and I'm happy that the, the final product came out to be what it is. But more importantly, I got a dope front. I got a guy that I can actually, you know, enjoy his company without it being about something else. Let's go dance. Uh, no thanks. Douglas? You can hide a fat ass and bag your pants, but you cannot hide a bad dance. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna teach you some basics. I'm not dancing. It is my job to make you look good on your wedding day. Now, I need you to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Come on. 12 years of dance lessons. My mom said one day they'd come in handy. I doubt this is what she had in mind. You asked how a girl like Gretchen would fall for yuts like me? I took her dancing. Dougie, teach me, teach me how to Dougie. Teach me how to Dougie. Teach me, teach me how to Dougie. All my women love me. All my, all my women love me. All my women love me. You ain't messing with my Dougie. We walked into an Indian wedding. Full fledged Indian wedding. Yeah, and uh, we weren't certain that they would know who either First of us of all, were. If we had a hat on the, the garments, yeah, we were the only ones in tuxes. We were the only ones in tuxes at the end of the way. Yeah. So we stood out as soon as we walked in. Yeah. Uh, I think they thought we were busboys for a minute. <laughs> uh, one lady definitely said, you didn't get my plate. <laughs> no, ma'am, I'm, I'm here to crash the wedding. You don't know what's going on right here. You're going to take it or not? More cheese. You're definitely <laughs> crashing this wedding.